Now our final guests met when they were aspiring actors as they worked as waiters in a New York hotel. They then went on to share a flat in Hollywood and now have gone on to make those early dreams come true in the world of film and television. Eric Mabius and Patrick Clark, you're both very welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Now, Eric, we're going to have a look at you in action from Ugly Betty before we even start talking to you to set the scene. I want to just take a break and talk, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that, RJ. You know, it wasn't that hard to put the pieces together. Connor, I... You're my friend, Daniel. And you lied to my face. <sighs> oh. Eric and Patrick, you're so welcome. What is it like playing Daniel Mead, the womanizing exec? There could be a worse job in, in the world. It's Absolutely. very physical, isn't it? It it's is. Like you know, never, uh, and none of the episodes are ever the same. It's so much fun. Yeah. It really is. Mm. Especially now that we have the move to New York from L.A. It's uh, much more vibrant and uh, more fun to shoot, I think. Okay, right. Now you've come home, over, not home, but Patrick's home. I'm home. You're home. You. Aww. <laughs> this isn't your first time in Ireland, is it? No, not at all. No. You've been a couple of times. I have uh, probably about a dozen times or so. Mm. The first time was to shoot uh, uh, with the first film that Patrick produced, Beyond the Pale. Yes. Which was a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. We actually have a clip of that. We'll probably play it underneath now while oh, we're cool. talking about it. So that was actually something that you produced and you starred in yourself, wasn't that right? Yes, and. Not to blow my own trumpet, but I, I did write a screenplay too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're, um, you're, you're a multi-talented man. You act, you write screenplays, you produce, and you've directed. Am I right? Mostly out of necessity, yeah. Because yeah. I <laughs> couldn't find someone to spend two years on a on a low-budget independent film. You know, you can't pay. You can't. You know, you have to pay actors, obviously. So yeah. they wanted somebody that uh, that that wouldn't require pay. And that was me. Well, can I ask you though yeah. about going so back in time? Cheap. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was trying to move on quickly from that, but that was kind of clear. And um, going back to all those years ago when you worked as waiters, I mean, what was it like when you first met up? You were the Irish guy in New York. You were there trying to make your way into acting. Can you remember back all those years? Well. It's very vivid because, you know, when you're waking up at 5 a.m. to show up at the hotel and, and uh, put your best face on and deliver um, uh, breakfast to uh, people like Kurt Cobain, and Kate Moss, and <laughs> David Lynch. Some of your exciting, yeah, yeah. humiliating, but exciting. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I look back at that pretty fondly still. And what was it that made the two of you just click so instantly, do you think? Um, I don't know. I think... Part of it had to do with the fact that, uh, you know, Patrick couldn't come home for a long stretch of time and we mm. sort of clicked over that. I was away from my family, but he was across, you know, across the pond from his. I think that was initially the first. Yeah, I mean, with sim similar kind of upbringings, <coughs> working class families. Yeah, where are you from, Patrick? Um, I, I was born in the Ballymun Flats. Yeah. And then I moved to, my family moved to Finglas after that. And then I moved to Boston when I was 17, and then I moved to New York from Boston when I was 19. And you, sh you shared, shared a flat when you were there, didn't you? We did. We, um, we, we, we um, lived in, in Hollywood for a while, a spell, and then, then I came back to, to New York to make Beyond the Pale, and Eric mm. stayed out there. And, and, uh, and then a few years ago... Eked out in existence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we always brag that we lived in the... Um, the worst uh, apartment building in the nicest <laughs> neighborhood in Hollywood, which was kind of nice. That is following the dream. Now, of course, you're here in town to support Patrick because you have a big night tomorrow night. Your movie Anton is up for three, three nominations. Yeah. No, it's, it's a great... Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, it's, uh, it's fabulous because um, everybody involved in this film, they, they really worked their asses off for two and a half years. Uh, it was the brainchild of a um, uh, writer, another guy who uh, kind of took the bull by the horns and his name is Anthony Fox and he, he mm. runs a new theater in Temple Bar but um so we spent two and a half years in, in the wilderness up in Cabin making this film and uh, so for everybody involved who, who helped us along the way it's great to have a night out and for our investors as well to see something because it's very rare that a film like ours gets nominated for anything mm. just because we're kind of made outside of the system. We have a little clip of it here oh, of you cool. guys in action making the film there in Cabin. So the three nominations tomorrow night are you confident, Patrick? Come on, lay your money um, on the table. Well, I think, you know, everybody knows Jerry, Jerry McSorley from, from mm. winning an IFTA for OMA. So he's up against Peter O'Toole. 
and uh, so that's pretty stiff competition there. But um, and then our cinematographer Fergal O'Hanlon, an incredible cinematography, and it's its first feature film. Mm -hmm. And our composer Anna Rice, what an amazing job she did, and it's her first feature film as well. So without films like Anton, people like that, they don't really get a chance. So mm -hmm. we're very proud of that fact that they've been nominated for the first time around. Okay, so Eric, you've actually come come here to support Patrick, I have. but you have your own Irish connections, I believe. Do what? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Are you not a third I, Irish? Uh, I am. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you mean in my family? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, I still don't know where you know my third of the family's from, but yeah, no. Yeah, but there are Irish connections there, there somewhere. Are, yes. Um, uh, in, in in honor of that, I, I have a newborn. I named him Ryland. Good, good oh, congratulations. Now, you're a happily married man. You have two sons, isn't that right? I do, yep. And you play a character which is very far removed well, from I your Well, I get to life. exercise my demons. It's, <laughs> it's a fun job. It's, it's, uh, it's not too difficult going to work with Selma Hayek and yeah. Lucy Liu. And, and you've actually just come over here, stopped filming for a couple of days, but you're back into filming Ugly Betty again once you get back. Isn't that right? I am. Well, they're shooting as we speak. I just uh, managed to run away for... Yeah. Four days. So. Now you're clearly really good friends. I'm sure you've lots of blackmail and secrets on each other. <laughs> but what are the plans for you working together professionally? Any movie scripts you're looking at or ideas? Um, I mean, there's always that possibility that something might come our way that we'd definitely love to, to work together so we could spend uh, you know, some time together because we've, the last time I saw Eric was about a year, a year yeah, ago in a Blackpool, mm -hmm. of all places. So, yeah. I was there for uh, an L word convention. Okay, that was, yes. yes. Yes, the most beautiful lesbians on the planet gathered <laughs> together from the four. Tough work, yes, tough well, work. You know. <laughs> Guys, thank Patrick. you so much for going in. We, you actually have a winner for us in our competition to go to the IFTAS tomorrow night, including a stay in the Burlington and, of course, the gala dinner and the award ceremony. Who do we have? The winner is Maria McLaughlin from Hoth. Congratulations, Maria. Well Guys, said. thank you so much. Have a fabulous time tomorrow night. Best of luck. Thank you very much. And that's it for today. Coming up on Monday's show, Irish Times journalist Finn O'Toole tells us what's getting them all fired up in the news. And as you know, the IFTAs, of course, are on tomorrow, and I'll be there behind the scenes. We'll be bringing you all the backstage gossip on the night on Monday. And we'll have an exclusive. The winner of the All Iron Talent show for the Sunday's Heat will be here with us, along with the winning judge. It's all coming up on Monday's show. See you then. Have a great See weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye.